In this lesson, we're going to look at stem leaf plots and histograms. Our objective, understand a stem and leaf plot, understand a histogram. Our vocabulary, stem and leaf plot, grouping data based on intervals while still showing individual data. This is a way of graphing that shows the individual parts and groups them based off of um, some similarity. Histogram. Grouping data based on an interval but not being able to distinguish individual data. Basically this is a graph that puts all the data together and groups it based off of a similarity but because of how it's grouped you can't tell the distinct parts that made up each group. So to do both of these, we're going to use the same data each time. So this is our data set. Make sure you write that down. We're going to look at the amount of money in dollars that people had in their pockets. So basically, one day of class, I had kids just take money out of their pockets, their back and their front, and count it all up. Um, and then we used um, some simple numbers, obviously. But this is the data we got. So they had 50, one person had 50 cents, another had 75. Dollar ten, a dollar twenty-five, twenty dollar twenty-five, and so on. So there are sixteen students. This was the money that they basically had. All right, we're now going to use this data to create a stem leaf, or to look at a stem leaf plot of the data, and to look at two histograms. I've already made a stem leaf plot of this data, so here's the data again, money in the pockets. Um, here is our stem leaf plot. On the left here, we have our stem. And these are the groupings. So in this one, I've grouped by the dollar values, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or $5. On the right is our leaf, or our leaves, and these are all the cents that go with each dollar. And then I, at the bottom I have a key that explains what each thing means. So a three line zero five is saying three dollars and five cents. So what we have here is we can tell that in the grouping of two dollars has the most data and we can see what those data points are. So it groups it and it allows us to look at the individual parts of data. Histograms are a little bit different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make two histograms. Um, the groupings here, 0 to $2, 2 to 4, these are called bins. And then the height of each bin will tell us the frequency in that. Um, so this is kind of a mix between a bar graph and a stem leaf plot. So um, from 0 to $2 actually means um, we can go from 0 to $1.99. $2 would go in this bin. Four dollars would go in this, and six would go above. So uh, this is zero to a dollar ninety-nine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. These six would go in this first bin because they're between zero and two dollars. So we need to go up to six. So there's the zero to two dollar bin up to six. Now we're gonna go two to four dollars. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. These eight are from two to four dollars. And our last one is from four to six. So we've got two there. Now, the bin size uh, is really important as to how a histogram looks. If you notice on the bottom, I've changed the bin size to $1 intervals. So we're going to go from 0 to $0.99 cents for this first one, then from $1 to $1.99, and so on. So for this first one, 
we want the stuff that's under a dollar. So there's two of them, 50 cents and 75 cents. Then we want from a dollar to two dollars. So there's four of those. From two to three, there's six. From three to four, there's two. Uh, from four to five, well, five doesn't go down, it goes up, so there's nothing between four and five. So these two five dollars go in the other one. And so our graph looks like that. Notice how the two histograms are of the same exact data, but look completely different. So the interval size is very important here as it will tell us a lot. Also notice that we don't know what the individual data is. When we look at these graphs, it just tells us how much is in each grouping. Uh, again, we've labeled the bottoms and then the frequency on the side. Uh, this has been stem and leaf plots and histograms. If there's any part of this that you didn't quite get or you need to watch again, make sure you pause, rewind, and rewatch and bring any questions to class. Thank you.